Hi, Ben with Novolux Stereophonic. In a previous video, I did an evaluation of this soldering iron, the HS02B, and I had some issues with voltage warnings when using the original power supply. So since then, the manufacturer has sent me a replacement. I'm going to see if I can reproduce the issue on this supply and see if this new one fixes it. The power supply is plugged into an outlet at my bench. I'm just going to connect it to the iron here. Push the OK button. And that seemed fine. I can't remember if I have this in adaptive mode, so I'm going to go ahead and do a factory reset on it and try again. OK, I'll go system set. More update about factory data reset. Let's try this. Okay. English. All right, so now it's back to 350. So let's see if I can get this thing to act up. There we go. So all I did there was I took the cable out of the power supply, I plugged it back in on that end, and that's when I got the error. So, so far so good, besides that one hiccup. Right now I'm just unplugging and plugging in the USB-C, changing its orientation 180 degrees, and seeing if I can get it to act up. It also could be related to the tip being cold because I noticed it, it ramps up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I've got it into a good state where it's acting up. Okay, I'm going to grab the other power supply, keep all things equal with how the cable is, and we'll see if this continues to do it with the new supply. Okay, here is the original power supply. I have the other one marked new PS, and I've got it plugged into the same exact outlet at the bench. I've kept the cable in the same orientation. Okay, looks like it just rebooted itself. Well, it doesn't seem to be very promising. So with the new power supply, I can't even get this thing to turn on. Try reseating the cable. Try reversing the cable. There we go. I don't know what that was about. Well, with the new supply, um, definitely had some trouble getting it to work initially, and I couldn't do the apples to apples because it couldn't even start. So let me take it back to how it was. This is bizarre. It's like it needs the cable to be in a specific direction. Let's try all the iterations. Try rotating this 180 degrees on the power supply side. Okay. So now I've reversed it. 
I think it'll start on this way. Yeah, it seems to um, it seems to really care about what the cable direction is. All right, off camera, I'm going to cycle this a bunch of times and just see if I can get it to act up in this direction. Okay, so I power cycled this maybe 20 times and it hasn't acted up. Uh, so I think it's going to be cable direction. So just to repeat this test one more time, I'm going to unplug the power supply side. I'm gonna swap these around. Plug this into the power supply. And so far with this power supply, it hasn't even been able to boot. All right, so now I'm getting closer to the root cause. I think cable direction really matters on this. So when this is plugged into the power supply end, it works. So I'm going to mark this with the felt tip marker. I'm just gonna write PS on this one. All right, so now let me use this with the original power supply that I was sent and see what happens. So I'm back on the original power supply. Let me plug this in. I'm going to plug the power supply end that I've identified into this and see if I can get this uh, voltage warning error consistently on the original supply. Okay. Low voltage warning, let's try again. All right, let's reverse the cable. Okay, now I have it plugged in to what I think is the correct way. <laughs> and I still get it. So the original power supply is just inconsistent. It looks like the new one only errors out if the cable's in a certain orientation. So original power supply errors out with both cable directions. So if we look at these two power supplies, they look pretty much identical from the side, but the color of the 100 watt text is slightly different. So the supply on the left here is the one that's giving us the low voltage warning. This is the replacement supply. You can see that the text color is slightly different and the specifications are a little bit different. So if we look at the model number here, JH098, JH-098, this one shows two amp max on the input where this one shows 1.5. And this one also has this extra PPS specification down here. Okay, so what are the conclusions? The original power supply that I received with the unit has low voltage warning errors. The replacement power supply, I was not able to reproduce that error, but the USB-C cable direction mattered. So once I identified the direction of the cable, I was able to use this pretty consistently. And up until this point, I haven't been able to get this power supply uh, to um, misbehave with the unit as long as the cable's in the right orientation. I ended up showing the video as you've seen it so far to the manufacturer and almost right away their engineers came back and said this issue may be related to the USB-C configuration channel uh, CC line or the connector base. Try replacing the USB-C connector or using a different USB-C cable as the CC line inside the cable may be causing the problem. So based on the symptoms they were seeing in the video, they suspected the cable. So I dug up a different USB-C cable. This is just some random thing I had lying around. It's pretty short and it's just marked neck tech on it. So let's give this a shot and see if it performs differently with the power supplies. Let's try this first with the replacement power supply. This one only worked in one direction with the original cable. Let's see what it does with this short cable. Okay, so far so good. Let's reverse it. Okay, so that's better already. I think we're onto something. Let's try this cable with the other power supply. Okay, trying the power supply that was initially supplied with the unit. This is the JH098. And this one, towards the end of the testing, I couldn't even get it to turn on. It would give me the low voltage warning every time. So let's see what it does with the other cable. Okay. 
Okay, that booted right up. Let's try it in reverse. Okay, so far so good. I think that did the trick. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. If you're having issues with your HS02B or 02A, first try changing the cable. It might be related to the cable itself. If that doesn't work, try a different power supply. One of the other things that was brought to my attention uh, in the comments in the original evaluation video I did was that these soldering irons are popular with the drone community. And I guess that makes a lot of sense because if you're operating drones in the field, you might already have uh, charging banks and USB-C cables and stuff that's part of your normal kit just to run the drone. So this is a way that this can get shoved in your bag. You already have the um, power supply and USB stuff on hand for your other stuff. And this is just something you can add to your kit to have a nice portable soldering iron in the field. So that made a lot of sense. So thank you for that viewer for sharing that. I hope this video was helpful in showing some of the error modes of this soldering iron and hopefully a couple of solutions. If you enjoyed this content, I invite you to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.